All right, so today we're going to do something different. Today I'm going to be changing out the air filter up under the hood here of the 2012 Mercedes-Benz C250. Um, what you'll need to complete the job, of course, is a flathead screwdriver. Once you have your flathead screwdriver, you definitely want to make sure you have a Torx T25 in order to release three bolts or three screws on the air filter housing. And, of course, the filter itself. Now, I'm one where I always tend to use uh, parts from the Mercedes-Benz store, so I do get mine from the dealership, so I know I have the actual part for it, unless they make a mistake, and hopefully they won't do that. Now, interesting story here on the 2012 Mercedes-Benz C250. Tuck it in for service to have the airbag recall perform. Of course, if you have a Mercedes, you've probably taken yours in a time or two to have the airbag replaced. Now, tuck it in for the airbag replacement. They roughly did it, picked it up the next day, and three days after I picked my vehicle up, major brake problem. Now, I went in thinking it may have been something simple, so I replaced the check valve, uh, checked the additional hosing whatsoever. None of that has worked, and what I mean by major brake problem, my brake pedal is as stiff as a board. I have to put all the pressure, all the strength I can into it for it to stop. But yeah, three days later, Mercedes-Benz Northlake picked it up for the airbag recall, boom, major brake problem. What a coincidence. But there again, we're gonna be doing the air filter. Of course, with the air filter here, um, this is an A271094-0304. Of course, would be more of a parts number uh, if you are ordering from a dealership. All right, so first things first, you have your air intake here. You have the clamp. You will need to loosen that up to release that from your housing, your air filter housing here. And of course, you can go ahead and take off your engine cover. We'll go ahead and remove that. As you can tell, that exposes the top end of your engine there. The three screws you're gonna be paying primarily attention to, it's gonna be here, there, and then of course there. Of course, T25, Torx T25, should do the honors of releasing both of those, or all three of those screws. So I'll go ahead and loosen the clamp here. So as you can see, this just allows me to release the air intake from the filter housing. And once I have that released, we'll go ahead and work on our screws here. And you can see how long this takes as well. Um, the ease of doing it. You know, doing it with one hand so it should be fairly easy for you to do as well so we just release one here I would say that's released then the other two Just for safekeeping. One, one last one. Now this one's kind of tucked in a bit, but my torque wrench here should work just fine. All right, so once you have your screws removed, this just pops right open here this is your housing for your air filter so we'll go ahead and remove that and you can see yeah that's pretty nasty I've got to learn to change that more often so all we want to do I am going to clean that out of course but all you want to do here is just take this and if you have a flathead screwdriver that's going to help you to easily get this out far easier so we'll just get up under it here One sure underneath. We'll go ahead and open this up, take this completely out. And there again, you can see where that's that's pretty nasty. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and discard this. Okay. That's the air filter housing. And this is the air filter I pulled out compared to 
the air filter I'm putting in. As you can tell, that's been many years. I'm surprised the engine didn't die of complete failure. Of course, you can see how this is shaped air filter. So you see exactly how it goes back in. So we'll go ahead and put that back in. Air filter housing is here. I've got my three screws. Probably don't want to turn it over like this, especially if you have a bad habit of unscrewing these far too loose. Uh, they could come out and of course fall into your engine. Now you've got to go buy new screws. Uh, but what we're going to do is go ahead and place this back into position. And just take it and push it too. You can hold it too with one hand. I just want to hold it there while I take these and screw it in. Now before, of course, you saw me do this with one hand, so it was very easy to get into, but you will definitely need two hands to uh, put it back into place here. Alright, so we've got that back into place, once that's back in place, you want to go ahead and connect your holes back to your air filter housing. Once you have that connected, go back to your flathead screwdriver and we're just going to tighten that back up. Once we tighten that back down, job's done. That's it folks, we have just replaced the air filter up under the hood here of the Mercedes-Benz C250. Thank you for joining me, continue to tune in, of course I'll bring you other insightful information on how to maintain your vehicle so you don't run into situations like I just ran to, into, you take it to a dealership to get a repair and next thing you know you leave with major problems. Thank you for tuning in and continue to do so, I greatly appreciate you.